O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. O Trinity of blessed light, O unity of princely mind, the fiery sun has gone its way, shed now within our hearts your ray. To you our morning song of praise, to you our evening prayer we raise, your glory supplant we adore. Forever and forevermore. How wonderful is this knowledge of yours, that you have shown me, Lord. O Lord, you search me and you know me. You know my resting and my rising. You discern my purpose from afar. You mark when I walk, I lie down. All my ways lie open to you. Before ever a word is on my tongue, you know it, O Lord, through and through. Behind and before you beseech me, your hand ever laid upon me. Too wonderful for me this knowledge, too high beyond my reach. Oh, where can I go from your spirit, or where can I flee from your face? If I climb the heavens, you are there. If I lie in the grave, you are there. If I take the wings of the dawn and dwell at the sea's feather stand, even there your hand would lead me, your right hand would hold me fast. If I say, let the darkness hide me and the light around me be night, even darkness is not dark for you, and the night is as clear as the day. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. How wonderful is, is this knowledge of yours, that you have shown me, Lord. I am the Lord, who tests the mind and heart. I give each man what his conduct deserves. For it was you who created my being, knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you for the wonder of my being, for the wonders of all your creation. Already you knew my soul, my body held no secret from you. When I was being fashioned in secret and moulded in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw all my actions, they were all of them written in your book. Every one of my days was decreed, before one of them came into being. To me how mysterious your thoughts, the sum of them not to be numbered. If I count them, they are more than the sand. 
to finish there must be eternal like you. O oh, search me, God, and know my heart. O oh, test me and know my thoughts. See that I fall on the wrong path, and lead me in the path of life eternal. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. I am the Lord, who tests the mind and heart. I give each man what his conduct deserves. All things were created in him, and he holds all things in being. Let us give thanks to the Father, who has qualified us to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. He has delivered us from the dominion of darkness, and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation, for in him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in everything he might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of his cross. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All things were created in him, and he holds all things in being. We can be sure that we know God only by keeping his commandments. Anyway, anyone who says, I know him, and does not keep his commandments, is a liar, refusing to admit the truth. But when anyone does obey what he has said, God's love comes to perfection in him. We can be sure that we are in God, only when the one who claims to be living in him is living the same kind of life as Christ lived. God as Lord is the apple of your eye. God as Lord is the apple of your eye. Hide us in the shadow of your wings. God as Lord is the apple of your eye. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. God as Lord is the apple of your eye. Show the power of your arm, Lord. Put down the proud and exalt the lowly. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He looks on his servant in a lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age. On those who fear him. He puts for his arm in strength and scared as the proud-hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones, and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects his really servant, remembering his mercy. The mercy promised to our fathers, 
to Abraham and his sons forever. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever, world without end. Show the power of your arm, Lord. Put down the proud and exalt the lowly. Let us ask the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth takes its name, to send the Spirit of his Son into our hearts as we pray. Lord, in your mercy hear our prayer. O Lord, the Creator and Redeemer of all mankind, we humbly pray for all men of every race in every kind of need. May your make your ways known to them and reveal your salvation to all nations. Lord, in your mercy hear our prayer. May the whole church be guided and governed by your Holy Spirit. Let all who call themselves Christians be led into the way of truth and hold the faith in unity of spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We commend to your fatherly goodness all who are afflicted or distressed. Comfort and relieve them according to their need and grant them the love and consolation of your spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, give a place of life and rest to those who have died in your peace. May we share with them in the glory of Jesus Christ, who died to save us all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Remember your people, Lord, and show them mercy as you satisfy the hungry with food from heaven enrich our poverty from your abundance through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit God forever and ever Amen. <clears throat> Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life.